protein smoothies can be a great replacement for some of the harmful protein sources you've been eating, especially if you are attempting to eat a healthier diet. Switching out hamburgers, processed meats or high fat items for a protein powder drink could be a fantastic way to get started with a new workout and diet program. Protein powders are proteins that have been isolated from the original plant or animal source. Casein and whey protein, which are derived from eggs and milk, are two examples of animal-based protein powders. Soybean, paya, potato and hemp protein powders are examples of plant-based protein powders. Whey protein shakes make a great pre- or post-workout snack. Whey protein can help you increase muscle mass or restore your body after strenuous exercise. While there are no major whey protein risks, it is vital to be aware of how it may contribute to digestive issues. Whey protein may cause stomach upset in persons who are lactose intolerant or allergic to whey. The first adverse effect of whey protein is the digestive issues. According to experts, large dosages of whey protein may induce adverse symptoms such as thirst, bloating, cramps, exhaustion, and headache. If you have a milk allergy and are allergic to cow's milk, you should avoid whey protein according to experts of Medlin Plus. If you suspect you have a whey protein allergy or digestive concerns, it may be advisable to stick to plant-based protein powders such as pea protein powder. Number two is the dangerous chemicals. The US Food and Drug Administration does not regulate the safety or efficacy of dietary supplements such as protein powders under the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act. As a result, you may not always be aware of what you're eating. Some protein powders, according to Harvard Health, may contain dangerous substances. The Clean Label Project analyzed 134 items for 130 toxins in 2018 and discovered that protein powder products included amounts of heavy metals such as lead, cadmium, and BPA. They also looked for pesticides and other substances that have been related to health problems. While some protein powders contain traces of these substances, others did not. To avoid some of the bad side effects of protein powder for gym training, do your study before purchasing the products. Also, study the labels to prevent extra calories, sugar, caffeine or chemicals. Most importantly, prioritize a well-balanced diet rich in real foods. Protein should be obtained mostly from lean meats, seafood and plant-based meals such as beans and lentils. Protein smoothies as a pre- or post-workout snack can help you reach your fitness objectives when combined with a well-balanced diet. The third adverse effect of whey protein is excessive sugar. Many commercial protein smoothies on the market, as well as those available at smoothie bars, contain a lot of sugar. According to the USDA, 12 ounces of one commercial protein shake contains 30 grams of sugar, more than the amount in a can of Coke. According to the Mayo Clinic, eating too much sugar can cause or worsen a variety of health concerns including obesity, heart disease and type 2 diabetes. The fourth bad effect of whey protein is gaining weight. Getting enough protein can aid in weight loss and may improve body composition. It helps you feel more full for longer periods of time, stimulates lean muscle growth and boosts your metabolism. Drinking too much protein in shakes, on the other hand, can have the opposite impact. Even if you're working out hard and need a lot of protein, eating more calories than you need can lead to weight gain. While protein in any form may help with weight loss due to its effects on hunger and fullness, eating more calories than you burn will still lead in weight gain. Furthermore, protein shakes may not be the greatest way to increase protein intake when trying to lose weight. 
According to a paper published in Trends in Food Science and Technology in February 2015, liquid calories have less of an influence on satiety than calories from solid foods. You could be better off eating a chicken breast for extra protein than drinking protein drinks. The fifth bad effect of protein drinks is dehydration. According to an April 2002 article in the University of Connecticut Advance, drinking too many protein shakes may cause dehydration. During the study, researchers discovered that athletes who followed a high-protein diet exhibited signs of dehydration while drinking the same quantity of water as those who followed a moderate protein diet. According to the researchers, this is a significant finding since the kidneys require more fluids to eliminate extra protein from the body. It's also worth mentioning that despite the greater demand for fluids, the athletes in the research didn't feel thirstier. Non-athletes and athletes alike, according to the study, should drink extra water while increasing protein in their diets to lessen the risk of dehydration. The sixth bad effect of whey protein is deficiencies in nutrients. Some people substitute protein shakes for meals in order to lose weight or to be healthier in general, but this may not be the greatest plan. Protein smoothies are abundant in protein, but they lack the other vital nutrients like complex carbs, healthy fats and fiber. Eating balanced meals with a range of nutrients supports all of your body's processes. If you use protein shakes as a meal replacement, you must be careful to receive enough critical nutrients at other meals to avoid deficits. There are 9 essential amino acids that are required for the proper functioning of everything from muscles to organs to skin and nails. Because not all protein sources contain all 9 amino acids, it is critical to consume a range of protein sources such as meats, fish and plants. For example, while a whey protein shake with bananas, almond milk and blueberries may be consumed before a workout, aim to get your protein from whole foods the rest of the day rather than replacing it with another protein shake. For example, you can make a turkey sandwich for lunch or grilled fish for evening. Lean meats and seafood as well as certain plant-based proteins like soy products are the finest sources of all 9 essential amino acids. Legumes, nuts, seeds and whole grains like whole wheat bread are also good sources of protein, albeit with less protein and fewer amino acids. Besides the bad effects of whey protein, there are also some rumors about protein powder that is not quite correct. To start off with the kidney issues. If you consume a protein shake twice a day or more, you may be concerned about the safety of your kidneys. There are many myths regarding how protein power affects the kidneys, but according to a July 2015 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, it does not appear to have a delirious impact on renal function in persons with healthy kidneys. Excess protein, on the other hand, can be hazardous to people with chronic renal disease, according to a study published in the journal Current Opinion in Clinical Nutrition and Metabolic Health in January 2017. According to the researchers, drinking too much protein in shakes may aggravate this issue. Experts advise to consume one scoop of protein powder each day, such as whey protein. You can mix it into your morning coffee, low potassium fruit juices and homemade treats. One scoop contains 10 to 50 grams of protein depending on the brand. The second common rumor about protein powder is problems with the liver. Whey protein, contrary to widespread assumption, will not harm your liver. According to a March 2018 review in Current Sports Medicine reports, professional athletes who developed liver disease or died from cirrhosis were most often using anabolic steroids, which causes hepatotoxicity. However, too much protein can aggravate pre-existing liver illnesses, such as cirrhosis and hepatic encephalopathy. According to a June 2015 study published in the American Journal of Renal Physiology, dietary protein raises ammonia levels, which may impact hepatic function in persons with liver issues. 
protein excess may aggravate hepatic encephalopathy symptoms in up to 35% of cirrhosis. According to a December 2014 study published in Hepatology International, one third of patients with this condition are protein intolerant. Consult your doctor before using whey protein powder or other protein supplements if you have liver problems. So there you have it. Now you know all the reasons why protein powder can be bad for your body. If you still want to use it, just make sure you do not overuse. Because always remember, it is a supplement. It should and cannot replace a meal. Instead, you should focus on seeing it as an addition to your diet. Last but not least, please like, subscribe and comment down below if you like this video and if you ever had such complication with protein powder to help your fellow gym buddies. Until the next video.